Hey folks, welcome. Here we discuss real stories by real people. Today we have the story of a man whose wife abandons their children to be with her lover. Let's see how it goes. Story 1. Hi, I'm looking for advice, but also just to vent and get some things off my chest. I have a 15-year-old daughter and a 6-year-old son. When I was a teenager, I was very irresponsible. I did drugs, I partied hard, and I ended up getting my then-girlfriend at the time pregnant. As soon as my daughter was born, I switched gears and cleaned up every aspect of life. It was like a switch flipped in my head and I immediately became a dad. I went to school while I worked, got my degree, and now I work as a physical therapist. Things with the mother of my daughter didn't end up working out. She told me that she felt like she had been robbed of her young adult life and didn't want to stay tied down anymore. So just like that, when our daughter was five years old, she walked out of both of our lives. I started dating again a bit after that when I felt like it was in my daughter's best interest to have a mother figure. I met my current wife on a dating app. We had the same interests and she got along super well with my daughter. I was very worried that would become an issue, but things turned out great. I asked her to marry me after two years. We got married right after and had a baby boy together. I thought that things were great ever since. Last spring, I got promoted and served as a sort of manager consultant for other physical therapists as well as helping my own patients. As part of my position, I'm often forced to go on long trips, sometimes to other cities or other states. Well, our company was selected to be an affiliate with an Italian physical therapy company, and I was selected to be on the team that would go over and have a talk with other therapists, show the things that we do and why they work, learn from them, etc. It was a cool opportunity, and though it was only for two weeks, I was excited to go overseas for the first time. Couldn't actually bring my family with me, however, since it was a work trip, and the whole thing would be coming out of our company's expenses. Kind of a shame, but that's okay. My wife works as well, so in situations like this, I call my dad who lives nearby and ask him to help out until she gets off work. My wife was able to take some time off work, so I figured that wouldn't be needed this time. I got everything in order for me to travel, and I took the long flight over to Italy. I sent pictures to our family's group chat of how beautiful it was while I was there. But, I noticed that my wife wasn't responding to my messages, but my daughter was. At the time, I just figured that they were seeing the pictures together and that my daughter was the one texting for everyone at that time. Well, a week into the trip, I get a call from my daughter who asks me when I'm coming home. I could tell she was upset about something and thought it was something related to school or something like that. I told her that I still had a few more days overseas before I came home, but that she could tell me if anything was wrong. She explained that she didn't have any food in the house for her and her brother. I kind of made a joke about it, but I realized she was very upset and I asked her to tell her stepmom to take her grocery shopping. My daughter then tells me that my wife hasn't been home since I left for Italy. I ask her what she means. According to my daughter, who by the way loves her stepmom and has no negative feelings for her to my knowledge, left the home the same night I left and has been telling my daughter that she'll be home the next day through text messages before deciding she was staying away from home for another day and promising she'll be home soon. She showed me the messages and they were all real. Now I'm freaking out. My kids are at home starving and now my wife is missing. I called my dad right after and asked him to take care of the kids while I was gone and try to find out what was going on. I called my wife right away and got no answer. I started calling everyone I knew that might have seen her and was legitimately panicking that something happened to her that she had been kidnapped or something, and got a flight home the next day. Nobody had heard from her during all of this time except for my daughter. I got in contact with the police and filed a missing persons report as soon as I could. I explained what happened with our children and how my daughter was receiving messages but she had still not come home. They were able to find her through cell tower pings and she was actually staying in one location the whole time. We met up again at the station and I was so relieved to see her again. I had no idea what I would do if I lost her. The police took her and my daughter into questioning to find out what happened. I was asked to stay with my daughter for her questions because of a law protecting minors, which basically meant I had to consent to her being questioned. After she was done, we waited for a few hours for my wife to be done. 
I asked if I could be with my wife during her questioning, but was advised not to. Instead, I drove my daughter back to my dad's and came back. By that point, they were done. One of the officers asked to speak with me. The cop that I talked to explained that she was in fact not kidnapped, but had been staying with another man the whole time. Apparently when the cop showed up, my wife panicked and claimed to be kidnapped. The other man showed ample evidence this wasn't true. They didn't want me in the room for that since they figured that was what happened after all. Obviously, I'm crushed that she was cheating and tried to lie about it. But I'm even more upset she would abandon our children like that. I've said okay to pressing charges for child endangerment. I don't ever want to see her again after this. Update. I've just divorced my ex-wife totally and completely. My lawyer was able to take her recent guilty pleas of lying to the police and child endangerment and swing them in my favor. I'm getting full custody of my daughter, obviously, and primary custody of my son who still got the weekends. Because of this, and because of how much she makes at her work, she's actually going to be the one paying me child support in the end as well, though I think she'll fight it again in court. I hope not though because finances are tight and I'm just tired. I wish this didn't happen truly. But I have my children and I know I can take care of them. That's what really matters to me. I'm sorry this happened to your marriage, OP. I don't understand what your ex-wife was thinking or if she was even thinking at all. How could she leave her kids alone without any provisions to go be with a man? And she wasn't even trying to hide it. It's like she already planned her little vacation with him while you were out of town. But if that was the case, then she should have told you to ask your dad to come take care of the kids because she had something to do. Instead, she left her children alone to starve. I'm glad the divorce proceeding went in your favor. I wish you good luck in being a single father and taking care of your kids. Take care, OP. Story two. I, 30 male, feel like my wife, 33, and I of seven years have a decent relationship most of the time. I'm not the most confident guy most of the time, and this certainly has had an effect on our love life. I would give it a 6 out of 10 most of the time. She has told me straight up that she needs more satisfaction in the bedroom. She met two guys when she was out with girlfriends who she said she was animalistically attracted to. The guys offered to take her to a hotel room and have sex with her at the same time. She says she said no, but did get one of their numbers and they've been texting since Saturday. She refuses to let me see the texts. I do appreciate that she was honest about her feelings, but I don't exactly feel like her having a threesome with two other guys would be the confidence boost I need in my life. She has said that she's not happy and is willing to work on her relationship after she goes through with the threesome. If I don't let her do it, then she says I need to be out by the end of the week. We own the house together. She got it after her parents died shortly before we were married. We both paid on an HELOC, so I have money on it. Update. We had a huge blowout in the last hour. I'm pretty sure she had sex with one or both of the guys on Saturday, because her story now is just not making any sense from what she said happened that night. I am leaving and getting a hotel room, and will call a lawyer in the morning. The house belonged to her parents, so that's why I'm leaving. Last update. Wow, thank you so much for all the nice comments. I'm on my way to meet with an attorney at 10.30. I'll do an update post later on when I know more. I did not talk to my wife, nor did she attempt to call me overnight. I think this relationship is over for both of us. Hope that makes things go smoother. I hope it goes well with the divorce lawyer, OP. You need to gather every evidence that you can so that the divorce can be on your side as it should be. Your wife was the one who decided to give you an outrageous ultimatum. She's the one who wants to throw your marriage of seven years away for a threesome with two men who met days ago. Divorce her and take everything that's yours. You deserve someone better than your wife. It's time for you to work on yourself and take charge of your life. You can do this, OP. Good luck. Now for some comments. Good for you on leaving the house. If you haven't yet, get a lawyer. Make sure it's a good one. Then take anything you can get in the divorce, including any part of the house valuation that you can get. It'll be hard for a while, but you'll manage. I realize you have good friends, but if you need to chat, just send me a message. I live only an hour and a half west of you. I'll buy you a few beers if you need. I also do some oil field work, environmental. What a shocking experience this must be for you. 
Hug, I hope you have someone close you can confide in while you're going through all this. Your wife sounds like a complete bully, and it sounds like you splitting up with her will be better for you in the long run. With her gone, you'll have room for people who will actually respect you and love you for who you are. Stay strong and pull those good friends close to you. You'll need them through this whole process. Dude, your wife is no longer invested in the relationship. She said she wants to work on the relationship after she Fs two other dudes. Do you know how idiotic that sounds? Do yourself a favor and call a few divorce attorneys today to get the ball rolling. I hate to say this, but if she's holding your marriage hostage so she can get railed by two dudes, then she's not worth staying and fighting for. That's a woman that cares about herself more than you, and more than the marriage. It's over, man. I know it sucks, but it's over.